Congress is in a race against time. Lawmakers return to work Monday with just five days to pass a plan to keep the government from shutting down. Right now, federal agencies are only funded through next Friday. Many times in the past, lawmakers have passed a short-term measure to keep the government funded to give themselves time to negotiate. Mike Gooding has reaction from local lawmakers who say avoiding the shutdown and finding a long-term solution are a must. No matter what you do in Hampton Roads, the federal government, the federal budget, I should say, is fundamental to our economic health. If there is a shutdown or if the Congress simply passes another continuing resolution, the impact on the military will be severe. Retired Navy Rear Admiral Craig Quigley is concerned. You're going to have a significant uh, adverse effect on aviation maintenance, ship maintenance, uh, training flight hours, steaming hours. Um, if you don't have the money in order to pay for that, you can't do it. Three members of the Hampton Roads Congressional Delegation appearing before the Navy League painted varying portraits of what may happen. Can't have a shutdown. I think that we have to pass an omnibus budget bill. I think another continuing resolution is absolutely unacceptable. It hurts our military. It hurts our region. Well, I'm always an, I'm an optimist, so I'm optimistic that we are going to not do a CR because I think that would be bad. But I, I believe that we could, we should, and I think that we will uh, get these the 2017 appropriations, get them together, use an, get them into an omnibus, and, and move it forward. That's what I'm hopeful for. That's what I'm pushing for. I, I think the likelihood of a government absolute shutdown. I think the chances of that are remote. What, will, what unfortunately will happen is a continuing uh, resolution, which um, is a temporary spending. But the problem with temporary spending is you can't do any long-term planning. The Navy has warned that under continuing resolution funding levels, it would have to cut flight hours and shut down some non-deployed air wings, which leaders say could have ripple effects for years to come. The last time there was a budget crisis that resulted in an outright government shutdown was in October 2013. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.